So I can tell the algorithms, the universal algorithm, it's working through the YouTube algorithm, is doing its job. See, we got to remember, don't depend on, uh, don't, don't think like this world is like so important. There's a much deeper intelligence and power that's running this world. Yeah, so uh, don't be deceived of, of things that are happening in this world and think, oh no, there's some really... Well, I mean, we're supposed to because actually this is a very deep cosmic movie, very gut-wrenching plots. So we're supposed to like, like trip for a second. But then just remember, there's a higher, higher, higher intelligence working. It's also working through the YouTube al algorithm and it's finding my people. That's cool. See, I think some people can relate to this uh, message and this topic. I really figured this out. Well, geez, I knew my whole life, but it came to uh, the epitome of it was <clears throat> when I was in the military. I joined the Marine Corps. It was like the worst decision I ever made in my life. It's like if it's like if you could if there was some virtual reality computer and uh, you wanted to know what the best thing to do for you was, and then you push the buttons and everything, and then it tells you. Yeah, I did the opposite. It would have been like if I asked, what's the worst thing I should do, and then it would tell me, and then I went and did it. Because I watched Rambo, that's what happened. I watched all of, <coughs> all of them, but particularly part two. I liked, and, and he saved the girl, and he was like taking out the enemy, and, and uh, he had gains. I was like, okay, I can do it. And I was just super restless and, uh, at that time. And I, th I thought it was energy. I'm like, man, I'm so energetic. Yeah, I was, I was severe anxiety. So I'm like, I need to join them. I need to go like, <clears throat> go do what I'm meant to do. <laughs> so I went in, in uh, I went to boot camp. And I really, man, see, I just wanted to do what he did in the movie. That's all I wanted to do. I don't, I don't, I don't want to march and like, wear a uniform and put the insignia on right. I could never get that right. It's supposed to be straight. This, you know, your insignia, it tells you if you're a private or corporal or sergeant. And uh, I, could, I could never shine my boots. You're supposed to shine them, make them shine. I just didn't know how to do it. I couldn't put my rifle together. I could shoot real good. That's the thing. I just wanted to go, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. I want to just stick me out in the jungle and give me a picture of the girl I'm supposed to save and then I'll, I'll, I'll handle it. I'll be back. No, no, but you can't. You're supposed to, you got to learn the, you know, do all these other things. And so I just, uh, I paid a very uh, hefty price. There was a corporal in there. He told me, he said, do you realize you make me go home and beat my wife? I said, no, I don't. He says, yeah, you do. He says, you're so stupid. You're so damn stupid that I, I can't take it. And so then I, I let it out. I don't, I don't believe him, but just saying. And then there was another, another sergeant. He said, uh, <clears throat> whenever I call, you come over here and, and uh, he says, it's time to get my fix, my Lynch fix. That's my uh, last name. All right, Lynch, I'm gonna get my fix. And I have to come over and I do push-ups and sit-ups. And you know, he, he would just do that at any point, anytime he saw me. And they were teaching me, trying to teach me how to march. And you're supposed to, you, you know, you march left, right, left. And then you're, they say, uh, I don't know, you're supposed to turn around. I forgot the command. And you pivot and you just turn around. It seems easy. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And then the, the drill instructor asked me, he says, how are you so damn stupid? Like, oh, you like, this is so easy. I can't even explain it. You just, you just, you pivot and you turn around and you go the other way. I said, yeah, I know, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it, that's why I don't understand. It's just too damn easy. And he said, shut your mouth. Like, you can't explain things. Like, I, I would talk to him like he's my friend or something. I'm trying to explain. No, they don't want to hear that. They want you to, like, be part of the machine. <clears throat> and it was just terrible. The whole... I was only in there a couple of years. I used to, see, I'm smart. <laughs> I used something to get out. I went in with a, a ace up my sleeve and I got out. And then I went and became an actor, tried. And I liked that. Now that was a 180 degree shift from uh, being in the military. I liked it for a while. 
I just like this. I like that. I like to do my thing and then have them, you know. But it came very natural. Uh, some of us are born with a very distinct, <laughs> very, um, it, you're just very distinct. Very, uh, what's the word? Uh, distinguished. Yeah. You, you cannot turn that off. It's there and you can't do nothing about it. It's just there. And some of it even more than others. A lot of people, I gave this example, the, they're like the collective, they're just collective. It's like one mosquito, you, it's like you got a million mosquitoes, but they're kind of all the same mosquito. Some of you aren't like that. That's why I made a video, um, God made you who you are, own it. But you're a very small majority compared to the 8 billion populace. So this is why, see this small group, <clears throat> and the small group, it's not like we're all together. We're scattered here and maybe one in Africa and and then one in Saudi Arabia and a few in America and then Canada, like we're all scattered. So it's hard to find your people. So then uh, this, this small group of people seem to suffer more because like nobody gets it. They just think you're weird. They're like, stop being weird. I'm like, I'm not being weird. This is just what I do. You know, like, what do you want me to do? And then you get, then, then you can get to the stage where I went through this as a teen, you get resentful. Because you get tortured, you can only get tortured so much, and then you're like, "All right, I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip the script now on these people." That's what happened when I started getting high at like 12. I just, I was looking for the people who used to mess with me in high school. I'm like, I want to see them now. I want them to say something. I just want, just please say something. I'm just gonna tear you up. It's like the because I, <clears throat> I was taking pharmaceutical drugs because my parents gave them to me growing up. I was just too young to, to be like. You know, I'm not taking it. But then when I hit 12, I was old enough to like take my life back to some degree. And so I, I traded in the pharmaceutical drugs for marijuana. And the marijuana didn't relax me. You'd think I was on Coke or Speed or something. It just amped me, you know? And it like maxed out seemingly all my personality traits. I was just like, <laughs> we had phone books back then, like the yellow pages. I'd tell my friend, I'm like, man, pick any girl in there. I'm gonna call her. I'll make it happen. Bring it. Not that I could do that, but I, I, you know, I was experiencing a side to myself that I never got to experience because it was, it was, just, it was suppressed and I was just all insecure and no confidence. So then I went the other way and then I became like crazy, but I liked it. It was like making balance somehow, all right? And then that burned out because you can end up in prison. You know, a lot of people do. That's, they end up in prison because of that stage. And um, I understand it. It's just by grace I didn't. Because you can't act like that, you know. I remember I saw, I liked another reason I joined the military. I wanted to join the military, do my thing, and then get out and then go be a, like a cop, like Mel Gibson. I watched the Lethal Weapon. I'm like, I want to do that. That looks fun. Yeah, I remember my mentor told me once, because I disclosed that to them to him my my secret fantasy he says man you can't do that that's that's a movie they you can't act like that i was like disappointed i'm like really so those of you and you know who you are because it's like obvious you know if you got this thing me and my mentor used to call it the, the thing he had the thing and i had the thing and that's why we we hooked up because when I first met him, I would bring this kind of uh, dialogue to him, these insecurities and these questions, like, why do I keep getting punished for nothing? Like, I didn't do anything. Like, I'm getting punished and I didn't do anything. He says, yeah, man, because, like, you got the thing. I'm like, what's the thing? He's like, a higher level of awareness. And you see things different and they don't get it and they think you're stupid because they don't get it. I'm like, ah, oh, that's the thing. He's like, yeah. Sometimes we'd, we'd sit or we'd hear somebody talk and we'd be like, oh, he has the thing. I'm like, yeah, I see it. It's fun. <laughs> like, like they're wearing some like secret code. You can like decrypt it. Like, oh, uh, he's one of us. So this channel, yeah, is kind of in favor for those people. Just because like I didn't I didn't make any choices when I started making videos, but I'm seeing how this is kind of shaping uh and geared more toward that. Um and so then that's what we try to do with the groups sometimes, you know, we try to have groups and uh, uh, to, to have these, these people who really resonate with what's being shared here. And then we're all in a room together. And then if you guys want to, 
you know, you can exchange emails or something through the private message. So, some want me to organize a Facebook group. I can't do it, man. I can't do. I don't have like even coming out coming out here today to make videos. I'm like, damn. I I like. I don't have this. I can't overwork myself the same way I used to when I was in my twenties. Yeah, this is what I discovered. I might even be getting a little cold. So be it, you know. But I'm just saying, if somebody wants to do that, then they have to do that. I, I, I can't be involved. It's like separate from what I'm doing because when I start something like that, if I, I need to like manage it or have somebody managing it for me. Otherwise it gets weird because of collective consciousness and idiots start coming. Is it gonna rain? And, uh, and, and so then I don't want my name on it because we've done that in the past with the Discord group because the people who were moderated, they just disappear and then at some point and then they're, we're left with, you know, it just gets out of control. So that's why I, I don't, yeah, this platform's enough to manage in the groups and stuff. But if you want to uh, have more uh, information about the group, you can see my website and then follow directions on there. So are you one of those people? Yeah, this is the thing. I used to do things, man, that you can't, you could not do it. Like the same way, let's say an enlightened person is enlightened, even though that's just a concept and a word and there's no final enlightenment, but somebody who's higher, higher conscious and they, uh, they do things. Let's say God wants to work through them and perform some a miracle. I like the story of Ananda Maya Ma. And she was, she was just sitting here, she was sitting. And then uh, all of a sudden she looked very wet. And people, she was like, like she jumped in the water or something. They're like, whoa, what happened? Did she like go take a shower? And they're like, no, she's been sitting here. And then it turned out they found um, somebody, a villager came running with the little girl in her hand. And, uh, and said, uh, Ma just saved this girl. She, she, the girl fell in the well. This, in, in the, in the, they asked the little girl, like, what happened? She said, Ma jumped in the well and like took me out. And they're like, but she's like sitting right here. Yeah, but she's wet. Yeah, but like, I don't know, she's sitting right here. You know, unexplainable, I like those stories. Okay, she didn't do that. She, don't, she didn't even know about it, but she knows God. She can always know God more, but she knows how these things work. Grace does things the way it does it, just does it. I'm gonna, this isn't the main point. I'm getting to the main point by making this point though. So that just happens. It just happens. She couldn't, she couldn't orchestrate that. All right, same thing if you're like, if you have this idiot enlightenment quality. I can't remember some of the things I did in the military. I, I would just do things you can't do. I would say things, man, that at the right moment, a natural response to something they said that was just so out of the box that one of the drill instructors uh, actually lost his bearing once. And I can't remember the example. He told me to do something and I had my gun in my hand and I put it down and I went to go do, he said, why did you put the, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm putting the gun down so I can go do it. And he, I don't remember the situation, but, and he, but he put, I remember this part, he put his hands like this and then he walked outside. And then one of, the, one of my friend, he's like, dude, you just made him lose his bearing. Like that never happens. I can't remember the situation, but things like that, you know, you know, if you do them, that always used to happen with bosses and managers and uh, <laughs> in the, and you know, you say things in the wrong, it's not wrong, but for collective mentality, it's wrong. You say things at the wrong time in the wrong situation. And you're like, you, you don't even, you just watch yourself say it. You're like, damn, how the hell? You see, it's an enlightenment idiot. That's what it is. So be glad, you know, the, we don't know how the consciousness is going to work through everybody. It has its own peculiar way of working through. That's why I liked, I can't say his name right. Osho always talked about him. I made a couple shorts about him like a year and a half ago. Mula Sarandon or something. Some of you know. You can put his name in if you want. Um, 
he's like that. He is like that. You can read some of his stories and see if you relate. <laughs> I like I like those stories. So there's nothing wrong. This is the main point. If you want to summarize everything, there's nothing wrong with this. This is this is what you like. How, you can't do anything about it, can't you see? So that must mean it's divine. That's the whole point. God made you like this. Okay, this is what it, what it is, and then you'll end up finding your people in. There you go. You live happily ever after. It doesn't matter no more what the world thinks. And all. Like, you don't even, like, who cares? You know who you are. You find your, somebody else who, and then you connect. And that's it. You, you have a small, uh, you know, small group. Or, or you just stay alone. You develop a conscious contact with the source. This is the whole point. Because then really nothing matters. Because even if you have your main friend, you're still, you, it's not the same as having a relationship with God. I made a video about the five highest relationships. This is the highest relationship. And so it's like life is constantly showing us that. Where it's like, damn, there's really no satisfaction except going inside. That's an evolutionary journey. It takes time. You can't just do that overnight. And it's always forever evolving and expanding. That's what, we, uh, this is what we're here to do, man. Like, this is the purpose. We can't, we're in this game. We can't turn it off, you know. All right, I'll see you soon.